So, maybe I should make, like, a coming out story video. Like, my coming out story. I feel like all. Where would I begin? Oh my god. I've come out like four times. Kind of what my dick looks like. If you don't know already, my name is Julian. I'm a transgender man. Um, that means I was assigned female at birth. So when I was in high school, I had a lot of queer friends, but not like I didn't consider myself queer until probably my senior year. I came out to my friends, my friend group at the time as being queer, and they were all like very accepting of it. I was probably um, 18, 17 or 18 when I came out the first time, so so some tips I would probably give for like coming out, coming out would be um, just be firm, like, if people ask you, like, are you sure, or, like, are you going to change your mind, just be like, no, if you do change your mind, like, that's all fine. Because I, when I first came out, um, when I was, like, changing my name around my school and stuff, people would be like, are you sure, and it would be like, yes, I am sure, this is me, I'm protecting myself. Another tip I would have with like dealing with like coming out to family is just like do it whenever it feels right. When I came out to my mom, I had just come in from like smoking and it was like midnight and I was like, mom, like I have something to tell you. And if it, it doesn't feel right to like come out, don't worry about it. Like don't feel like you have to come out right now or like any time in the near future. It's my senior year of high school and I, my mom and it was pretty rough but my dad was really accepting from the get-go there's just some things I don't know if I like want to go into a super amount of detail right now coming out as gay was like one thing it was like really the struggles I faced with it happened over years and mostly were with my family. With the explaining it to people, like just, you know, so I work in customer service and what do I do when someone misgenders me? I just like to correct people as if they have made a mistake because they have. I like to correct people as if they've just factually done something wrong. Like the firmer you are and the more confident you are, the more people will listen to you. It was coming out as non-binary probably that was like the hardest coming out. It was like everyone I came out to, I had to like explain it to them. I didn't know many non-binary people who were out personally. And I started using they, them pronouns probably in 2015. I think I came out to Heather first. What was your opinion of me when I came out? How did you feel when I came out as, as a man? I already knew. As the big man. I already knew. I knew from fucking... As the big man. Like, the day that I met you, I was like, mm. There was just, like, a lot of... I could just tell, but I never said anything. And then you started painting yourself as only a dude. And I was like, hey. Is there something you want to tell me, buddy? And then buddy. You, were, you were like, what if I want on... I saw her on JK, haha, <laughs> I'm what? Bitch, I knew. I've been new. I've been new. I remember telling you that I wanted to be called Julian. Yeah, and I was like, I was something of that, but I was not at first. And then I was like, oh wait, I think that I'm also gender neutral. Yeah, Heather was like, at first, like, 
didn't know what it meant to be like gender neutral. They grew up with a lot of trans friends, but like the term like using like they them like gender neutral pronouns just and I didn't I didn't even know that trans people really existed until I was like 17 so I remember I had like one non-binary friend and it was like I I just it blew my mind it blew my mind how you could have like agency over your identity like and I didn't really identify like as trans because I had a lot of like internalized transphobia what internalized transphobia kind of means is when you identify a certain way, like a lot of people have like internalized homophobia, hate, outwardly hate gay people so much that because they inwardly identify as gay, but they're outwardly hating a part of themselves actually and projecting it onto other people which makes them hate other people. So for me that happened but with like being a transgender. Not that I like hated trans people but I just didn't identify myself as being trans for a while even though I definitely was. It means I just like really hated myself a lot. I was out as non-binary for around like five years, four or five years, and in that time I don't think I, like I never really got gendered correctly, like everyone who gendered me at first gendered me incorrectly. Except for Heather, of course, but like, and my friends, my friends were obviously like really good about gendering me correctly. And a lot of people, once they like learn it, they are pretty good about it. But definitely like being out as male has been like easier in that front, whereas like as I begin to pass more, like I don't have to be correcting people all the time. But it like, it really was a lot of emotional labor for a while. And then coming out as male has been, it's been really great. It's been like, probably like the most confident feeling I've felt in like my whole life. And it's really great to like actually feel that and like feel like I know who I am and I can like do things now and wear clothes and like t talk and like exist and be myself and it's really, I've never experienced anything like it. Was difficult coming out to myself. It was probably like, it happened so quickly that, but yet not. Like, I feel like my whole transition has happened over the past five years of me being out as non-binary. Be evident that something was like, wasn't myself. I kept like painting myself as male, like as like really masculine and like, but I didn't present that way. And it was like really, it really started like when I was still wearing makeup and stuff. And I actually did a performance piece. My last um, art piece in school was um, a performance of me actually sitting under these lights, these pink and blue lights, reciting a performance piece about being non-binary and about being having to deal with my mom and having to convince my PCP of like whatever for my top surgery and like yeah that was a good piece thank you so much for watching this video if you have any other questions I please leave them down below um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I really hope you have a good day.